Hello, this is Solving Systems of Equations, Single Inequalities, Example 2. And uh, in this example, we need to graph this inequality. And first I'll talk a little bit about what's going on here. And think about the solution to this, y equals 3, and the solution to this, y is greater than 3. The solution to this is just very simple. It's 3. But the solution to this is much more. The solution to this is 4, 5, 6, 7, and also everything between those numbers I just mentioned, like 3 and a half, 4 and a half, 5 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters, and so forth. So the graph of this is going to be much more than the graph of y equals 4x minus 3. The graph of this is going to be uh, an entire half plane. And the first step is to graph y equals 4x minus 3. This is going to be the boundary of the half plane. And the graph of this is going to be everything either to the right or the left of this line. So uh, we've graphed uh, lines like this and many techniques we've studied to do it. Uh, this is set up for um, slope intercept. Uh, the intercept is negative 3 and the slope is 4. So I went up 4 to the right 1, up 4 to the right 1, and um, figured out the graph. The graph is a dotted line, and the reason I drew it dotted is the same reason that this, the same reason that this inequality is drawn with an open circle. Uh, if r you recall, um, the, we graph this, x is greater than 3, with an open circle because um, 3 is not part of the solution. If you put in 3, then you'd get 3 is greater than 3, and that's false. That's why it's an open circle. So this is strictly greater than, as opposed to greater than or equal to, and that's why it's a dotted line. This inequality, x is greater than or equal to 3, is, is uh, graphed with a closed circle, indicating that 3 is part of the solution. If you put in 3, 3 is greater than or equal to 3, and that's true. That's why it's a closed circle. So I drew this line with a, uh, a dotted line, and now I have to figure out if my graph is everything to the left of this line or everything to the, to the right of the line. And we'll do that by substituting. I'm going to pick a point, either on this side or on this side, and test it. A very convenient point is 0, comma 0. So I'm, uh, what I've done is substituted in 0, comma 0. And what we end up with is 0 is greater than negative 3. And that's true. 0 is greater than negative 3. That means that the point 0, 0 is, is uh, part of the solution, and everything to the left of the line is part of the solution. If I got something that was false, that would mean that 0, 0 is not part of the solution, and it would be everything to the other side of the line. So now I need to shade everything to the left of this line. And that is my solution. That's the graph.